Today we're looking at uh, the book of Matthew chapter 25 and 26. Uh, in our Sunday life class, we're studying uh, surprisingly uh, chapter 24 and 25, and that's teaching us about the signs of Christ's coming. So here in chapter 26 and uh, 25 and 26, uh, I broke it down into three sections. Section one is the king's return. Section two is the king's preparation. And section three is the king's trial. Uh, with the king's return, uh, we have the account of the virgins, the wise virgins and the foolish virgins, those who were prepared and those who were not. And also we have an account of the talents. One person had five, one person had two, and one person had one. And Jesus said at the beginning of this chapter that the kingdom would be like this. So in other words, these are examples of people who will or will not enter into the kingdom of God. The next portion uh, I call the king's preparation. And this is the account of when Jesus was invited to Simon, one of the uh, priest's house. And uh, it is custom, the Jewish custom, that whenever a guest comes into your house, that you would greet him with a kiss and that you would also wash his feet or have his feet washed by one of your servants. Well, in this case, uh, the, the hosts uh, did not uh, wash Jesus' feet, nor did he greet him with a kiss. But this is the famous story of the woman with the alabaster box in that she uh, poured this expensive ointment on Jesus. And not only was this uh, an illustration of the value that she placed on Jesus' presence and his being as to who he was, but also gave us some insight into Judas, who was the person who kept the purse or the money and he was outraged, he was indignant that the woman would uh, use this expensive ointment and put it on Jesus' feet. And he said it could be sold and the money could be given to the poor. And the next session is we call the king's trial. This is when Jesus had been arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane and he was taken to the, the Sanhedrin court an assembly of 70, 71 men, priests, and elders, including the high priest. The high priest at this time was Caiaphas. And Caiaphas was a son-in-law of the Jewish high priest, is his father Annas. But the uh, most well-known portion here is the denial of Peter. G Peter had shown himself to be strong in the Garden of Gethsemane, he even took out his knife and uh, cut the ear off of one of the servants of uh, the high priest. And Jesus told him to put it away. And Jesus had told him earlier of his zeal and his impetuousness, but that he would deny Jesus three times. So this is the account where Jesus was on trial and uh, Peter was asked if he knew him if he was one of his followers, and he said no. And the third time uh, before he said no, the cock crowed. So this was an account of, Jesus, of Peter's denial of three times before the cock crowed. So that pretty much rounds up uh, the preparation for Jesus' triumphant entry and his going to the cross. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are grateful and thankful for your word. The word is a light unto our, uh, lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Your word instructs us. Your, ins your word is dependable, reliable, and true. We depend on your word because it gives us life. We thank you for the greatest gift of all, your son Jesus Christ, who came down from heaven, became a man, and died on Calvary's cross for my sins and the sins of the whole world. If I was the only person in the world who needed salvation, he would have come. 
And we wanted everyone to know that Jesus loved us so much that he gave us the greatest gift of all, his son and one and only, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So, Lord, we thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're doing and what you will do in our lives in the coming days. We thank you for this period of Lenten season where we can grow closer to you by denying the flesh. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.